Hello, super supervillains. It's your friend Sean PVS101. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna do the ranking on the Star Wars prequel trilogy. Shoot me right now. I cannot stand those trilogies because I just I just despise the Star Wars prequels because I find I, this is a prequel trilogy has some of the worst dialogue, the worst characters, and some of the worst. Some of the worst CGI you've ever seen in your life, and and the most annoying character in in the entire in in the prequel trilogy. You never ever see this guy again. If you kind of enjoyed those films, good for you. But there is one one there is one thing in the prequel trilogy that's better. I'll get to it later. But enough talking. Let's go, Kylo Ren, angry crazy on this first two prequels, shall we? Coming at the very bottom, I have Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Fucking Clone. Ugh, I can't not stand this fucking piece of shit movie. Like, seriously, fuck this film. I hate every single about this film. Everything about this movie fucking sucked. The story sucked. The characters all suck. The visual, the act, the action scenes suck, and the CGI is a, is also suck. Like every about this movie can go fucking suck because I cannot stand this film because this movie is a disgrace to Star Wars and every about this movie is is awful. Just cannot stand this movie. Just fuck this film and fuck this movie. Fuck this movie. At number two, I have Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. I'm sorry, more like Star Wars The Phantom Blandness. Yeah, that deserves that title. Like, ugh. This movie is so bland and boring to watch. Like, seriously. This this movie makes me want to fall asleep because I cannot stand this film because the story, the story to this movie, like, seriously. What is this movie? Like, trade federations, peace strings, and politics? What the hell is this? This is Star Wars, you know, Star Wars is action, but not the U.S. election shit. Ugh, the plot is so ridiculous because this, the, this plot is so bad because the, the, the story makes me want to go fell asleep and everything. And the characters, they all are very bland and boring to watch. Like, the characters are not even likable. I like, ugh. Young Anakin Skywalker, played by Jake Lloyd, honestly, he is so whiny and boring to watch. Like, are you an angel? <sighs> and I hate every single character, but the most uh, the most hated character, I really hate. I just I don't want to talk about this annoying character anymore. I talk about him a lot on my channel. I do not want to mention this character anymore again because don't you dare. Don't you dare talk and say this name. I don't want to talk about him. Nope, nope, nope. Just move on. Yeah, the characters are so bland and boring. The the CGI is so atrocious and bad. Like, honestly, the CGI is so boring to watch. Because the, the prequel trilogy has not been good CGI at all. But who agrees the, C the sequel trilogy has some better CGI than the prequels? Who agrees? The action scenes, well, the action scenes are just useless. Like, I'm sorry, the I find the pod races scene pretty weak. I'm sorry, but I, I prefer the better action scene in this bland movie. The the lightsaber duel with Obi Wan and Obi Wan and and Liam Neeson's character, I forgot his name, and Darth Maul. That is it. That's the only scene I like about this movie. And also, the duel feints is the best part of the movie. That's it. I ha that is it. That's the only two things I like about this boring movie. But the rest, it sucks. Just honestly, just move on. But I have, and I have one one redeemable thing. In the prequel trilogy I like is my number one favorite favorite one. In the prequel trilogy is Revenge of the Sith. I really enjoyed Revenge of the Sith. I thought that movie was pretty good. I really love this movie. I find the story a huge improvement over the first two prequel films. The characters are much better. The the action scenes are good, just gorgeous. And the CGI, well, some of the CGI is... I have a mixed feelings on the CGI, but they look better than the first two films. 
And my favorite part in the whole movie is Obi-Wan versus Anakin Skywalker in the climax. That's my favorite part in the whole entire trilogy. But yeah, I just love that fight. And, and also the ending, we can see finally Anakin's turning to Darth Vader at the end of the movie. But his no line is just ridiculous. That's the that's the only good prequel film in this prequel trilogy. Just don't watch the first two. Go watch Revenge of the Sith instead. You have a better time watching. And that's why Revenge of the Sith is the best one in the prequel trilogy, and 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 also my, and also the the only good thing in the prequel trilogy I like. And I give this film a seven out. Of well, that is for my amazing ranking on the prequel trilogy. Well, I cannot stand the first two prequel trilogy because the first two makes me so angry and gone crazy. But the, the, the third one, the trilogy, is the best. I'll admit. And what's the next Star Wars trilogy should I do next? And lastly, hmm... Yes! The sequel trilogy!